of the campaign in style last night with a 3-0 win in the second round match at Shrewsbury. Swindon employed a five-man midfield for the first time. A formation manager Ardiles had played in at Spurs and an attractive build-up was to lead to the first goal. Shearer though aided by a deflection before putting his shot past keeper Perks. Shrewsbury put some good attacks of their own together. John McGinley's break down the left, but it's, his cross is unsupported in the middle. And then John Gittins gets himself into a terrible tangle before hacking the ball away. Swindon hardly needed their massed midfield for the second goal. Digby's huge clearance kick, followed by a poor defensive header. McLaughlin's in quickly and great skill from the number four to score. McLaughlin also hit the third and McLaren nearly made it four in the second half when his fierce shot brought a great save from Perks. And in the dying minutes, the cross coming in from Phil King, McLaughlin races in but Perks again denies him a hat-trick. Swindon settle for 3-0. And the second leg is at the county ground in a fortnight. On the face of it, this cup tie could have produced an upset, with Shrewsbury going well in Division 3 and Swindon struggling in 2. As it turned out, the difference in class told, especially in the first half, with Duncan Shearer giving Swindon the lead. Shrewsbury were being badly on the breaks, but they still enjoyed an awful lot of possession. A bit more polish up front might have brought them a goal. Swindon's second was made by keeper Fraser Digby, of all people. A massive clearance, and Alan McLaughlin finished things off beautifully. He also scored the third, as Swindon, with five men in midfield, tore Shrewsbury apart on their raids up front. Unluckiest man was Ross McLaren. He tried everything to score against his old team. In the second half, Shrewsbury ran things, but they were really too far adrift, although Michael Brown, for one, never gave in. The Swindon defence never looked at ease when the winger was on the ball. Their other danger man, John McGinley, fought a lone battle down the middle. The Swindon attack still had that extra bite about them. A brilliant save this by Perks from McLaren. In the dying minute, Swindon nearly got their four from McLaughlin, his hat-trick in a scramble of a finish. It ended 3-0. That should be a big enough lead to take Swindon through to round three.